Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to The Common Room. Today on my channel, we are going to be opening the most recent wizarding trunk box, which I have to admit I have very high expectations for. So keep watching if you would like to see the February box, which is themed all around the Keeper of Keys and Magical Beasts. Okay guys, so I have here the February special edition wizarding trunk box. Now, as I said before, I do have a little bit of high expectations for this bad boy because it's themed all around Hagrid, or I'm assuming it's going to all be around Hagrid. It is called the Keeper of Keys and Magical Beasts box. And I don't know about you guys, but Hagrid's the one that I think of. So I'm super, super excited to get into it. You guys know Hagrid is my all time favorite and I, I'm going to have to get into this box because look at it. I'm just obsessed with it. But before I do that, I do want to give you a little bit of information on this box itself. So this is the special edition box. This one comes out quarterly and these boxes do cost $64.99 plus shipping. Now, since I am a wizarding trunk rep, they did send this one to me for free but I promise to give you my honest opinion on all of the items inside. Now, if you would like to save a little bit of money on your own box, you can use my code MAGICALALLY for 10% off your first box and individual purchases. So when I saw the design on this box, I got so excited. We have seen so many new designs on the Wizarding Trunk boxes, and this one, of course, is their high security vault box. And just look at how perfect the green gots kind of feel like the vibe you get from it you can see we have these dragons on each side you can see the little keyhole with the high security vault but the colors of it are just perfect they're like this aged brass kind of color and yeah i'm just really obsessed with it i do also like that on the side where it always says fragile or fragile magical delivery sorry potter collector <laughs> but you can see that the font is a little bit different and i really just like that little addition i think it makes it look kind of fancy for the special edition and let's see if it has anything it doesn't really have anything else on it but i i don't think it really needs it i think the front of it is just perfect now before I get into this one, I was thinking today, because of course, Hagrid's my favorite, so I've been thinking about this box a lot lately. So I wanted to go over a few items that I'm thinking could be in here, or I'm really hoping could be in here. The very first item that I think would be amazing would be if we got some kind of Monster Book of Monsters replica. It could be really small, but most usually whenever I get Monster Book of Monster items, they're usually like a book sleeve or a laptop sleeve and those are fine but I would love something like that to put on my shelves so I think that is going to be my biggest hope for the box but uh, anything like Hagrid Hut related would be wonderful if we got maybe some not as known beasts like the blasted scroots or you know something that Hagrid introduced us to I don't know I'm sure there's going to be a lot of really cool things in here I'm just kind of hopeful for a few but I have no idea what's actually in here so let me go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek so that we can get into all of the items let's see oh I don't know what it is but I see there's something that says the keeper of your keys there's something kind of cloth in here and I think they are oven mitts and I <laughs> am instantly really excited about that. Let me take a look and see. I, I don't have too many useful, not useful, but like home items of Harry Potter. Most everything I have are replicas, but I would use some oven mitts. So let's see. Looks like, I'm thinking they're oven mitts. It looks like they have peppers on them. Let's search. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I will admit, I'm not exactly sure what the peppers are hinting at. The only thing I can think is I know that in, which movie is it? The second movie? We see Hagrid, you know, with his dragon egg and he has to have other mitts on because it's in the fire, it's hot. And so I wonder if these are what his oven mitts look like. I'm gonna have to look into that. But we do have just some oven mitts. Now, let's see. It says they're 100% cotton. And 
I mean, they're the perfect size of a mitt. They kind of match my shirt that I'm wearing right now because I got a little bit of purple on them. But yeah, yeah, and I feel like we got two. We got one for each hand. I feel like I'm definitely picking up a dragon egg with these. That's what I think this is. I, if that's what these are like a replica of, I will really, really enjoy them. If they're not, I don't know because there's nothing Harry Potter on them. There's just peppers. And so, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm thinking these are a movie replica. We'll have to see in the cheat sheet, but either way, you can never have too many oven mitts and I will definitely be using them. There's something that was kind of I didn't see it. I don't know if it was hiding underneath the oven mitts, but it says pumpkin spice tea, black tea, pumpkin seeds, apple pieces, elderberry, cinnamon, orange peel, and ginger. Oh, it says giant pumpkin seeds and it's in like a little tin. So I'm wondering if maybe it's like loose tea leaves. Let me see if I can get it open. All right. So you can see the little metal tin a little bit better right here. You can see where it says giant pumpkin seeds. Now it says pumpkin spice tea on the back. Let's open it up and see if it's just the tea leaves or what we've got going on. Oh no, sorry. There's a little bit of it coming out. It is definitely just tea leaves. Oh, it smells really good though. It's very different than a lot of the teas that I drink. I'm not a super big tea person. I really enjoy having tea. I just Feel like I don't think to get it so I don't have a lot of it in my house ah, but you can see it looks even like there's little pumpkin seeds in it I'm gonna try to show you without dumping any and the only thing is I don't have anything for loose tea leaves I might have to if there's nothing else included in here that we can use with these tea leaves I might have to look into buying something like that I know you can get little metal things that you put your tea leaves in and then you can, what's the word? I just had it in my head. I don't know, but you put it in the water to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> but they have things for the loose tea leaves and I might have to get one, but it does smell really good and I will be very excited to try it. Now, usually I save most of the boxes till the end, but there is this one right on top that says the keeper of your keys, the keeper of your keys. And I feel like I need to open it because I'm gonna be thinking about it the whole time. So it's just a little black box and it says the keeper of your keys, all gold foiled. And I can hear something jingling. The only, th I, I mean, this could be a key ring for us to put like all of the keys that we've received from the wizarding trunk. I'm not for sure. So let's take a look and see. It's definitely a key ring. I do like this key ring though. So it comes like this in the packaging. You can see that it's a big, like key ring, like you would see the keeper of the keys wearing. But I do like that it has all these little ones for you to like put your keys on. Yeah, and then it has like a little clip that you can clip on something as well, like on your belt loop. And I guess you just open it like that and open it up. So it gives us a lot of these little rings. Like I feel like we could put a lot of the keys that we've already received from the wizarding trunk on here. So yeah, I can't really complain about that. I never know what to do with my keys. So maybe I can find a good way to display them with this. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas on how I could display this key ring with keys on it, leave a comment and let me know. It's definitely a nice quality little item. It is, it feels like metal. I think it's kind of, made to look with that aged coppery or not copper brassy look but i mean it fits right together it's good quality i don't feel like anything's happening to the keys when they're on here so yeah a nice little key ring so since we did just open a key ring let's go ahead and get the actual key opened up their keys do now come in this new little box that says unlocking magic on here in silver foiling and i think I think mine came out of this little area because I can feel it moving around in there. I mean, are we just gonna have like a key to Hagrid's hut maybe? I would be okay with that. Let's see what we have. So this actually looks to me like it is a key to Hogwarts castle. This is specifically designed with the boars that guard the castle. And I don't know if you can see them very well but there is a boar there. And then there's like a little lock at the top. And 
it has to me what looks like the columns of Hogwarts and even the little key pins look like Hogwarts towers. So let's see. On the little keychain, it looks like the key hole is like right on the board and you can see the fencing that would be behind it for the fence that goes into Hogwarts. So I really like that little detail. And then, I mean, yeah, it's just, to me, it's all themed around the entrance to Hogwarts and definitely not mad about that. The last couple of keys that we've received from the Wizarding Trunk have been some of my favorite. I feel like they're really getting the design of them, like, I don't know, they're just getting better at it. I feel like they're not so bulky. They have very detailed designs on them and I'm just really really enjoying them. Yeah and I also like the color of this one. It's another kind of bronzy rose gold colored key but we all love the little boars that protect the castle so I'm definitely happy with this key. Let's go ahead and look at one of the pins from the box before we get into the paper items. It looks like there's two pins included but I'm not really for sure what this one's going to be. It's just in a little plastic bag but let me give you a sneak peek at it. What is this? Oh, it says groundskeeper's assistant. And it is the same little design that we got in the shirt from the February bi-monthly box, which was themed all around professors. So I, I mean, I could wear this pin like on that little shirt and it would be super cute. So you can see that this pin says groundskeeper's assistant and it looks like it's on like a little ribbon. It has that cute little design with the wand and the shovel crossed and the little stars all around it. I do really like the, I don't even know how to explain the way that this pin is shiny because it almost has like a matte part and a shiny part. Let me see if I can show you. So here is the pin. And if you like move it, it oh, it's hard for you guys to see, but it has like really different dimensions the way that you turn it. And I really enjoy that. I could wear it on my clothes, but it will probably go onto my pin board somehow. My pin board is really, really full. I'm almost gonna have to go buy another one of the same pin boards just so it can match. <laughs> but I do really like this one and I will definitely be excited to put it on the pin board. <laughs> So as usual, we do have a few paper items in the bottom of the box, but I am so, so excited as always that we have an Enchanter magazine. Let's see what this bad boy is all about. This is issue number 18,063 and it's for February of 2023. And on the front, of course, it says the Enchanter in beautiful gold foiling. It says page six, Mountain Giants Misunderstood. Oh, what a perfect magazine cover for a Hagrid box. It says page eight is the Hippogriff Rescue Center. Page four, how to extract giant spider venom and then poisonous plants and where to find them on page seven. I am so excited. You guys know I save these for vacations to read on like the planes or just road trips. And yeah, I'm very excited to see what we have. Ooh, the very first page says in custody for selling poison apples, resisting arrest and escaping custody. And it's an unidentified ginger witch. I like the picture a lot because it's so perfectly an Azkaban mugshot. It's just so nice. Let's take a look. I'm going to show you a couple things in here. Oh, I love this. So right in the middle here on page five, there is a recipe and it is magical cookery with Barnabas Gordon. Cordum? I can't tell. It's very fancy font, but it says rock cakes recipe and it tells you all how to make rock cakes. I absolutely love that. That is a recipe I'm gonna have to make just because I am so obsessed with Hagrid. I just love that man. He's my favorite. Um, oh, here's the one that says Mountain Giants Misunderstood. And I'm, oh, there's like an upside down article too. So let me show you, <laughs> I'll show you before I read it. So you can see on this first page, it's the Mountain Giants Misunderstood. And it's a completely normal little article. But then on the other page, it says poisonous plants and where to find them. And it's all upside down. That gives me kind of quibbler vibes. Like you have to read it upside down. I really like that. 
But for the misunderstood mountain giants, it says violent, bloodthirsty, cruel, dangerous, lumbering oafs. All of these things and more come to mind when one thinks of mountain giants. It is true that you wouldn't want to run into a giant while exploring the, Go the Golgan Mountains. It could mean a certain death, depending on the giant's mood at the time. They are impulsive, short-tempered, and brutal by nature. Or are they? I'm definitely going to be reading into that because Hagrid, for being half giant, Hagrid is just so sweet. They can't, they can't all be bad. They have to be misunderstood. But of course, you guys know I'm in here looking for horoscopes because they usually give us horoscopes and I love reading them. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, here it is. We have our horoscope. I'm going to read the Pisces and Leo because that's me and Chris and that's just what I always do. So for Leo, it says someone you like wants more than you. Be honest with them and don't make excuses. During this time, you'll be visited by unicorns in your dreams. That's very kind of cryptic. I will let you know if I get any unicorns in my dreams, but yeah, we'll have to see what that means. Let's take a look at Pisces. For Chris, it says you radiate enthusiasm and people around you react strongly to that. Yes. You can feel that something exciting is about to happen this week. A Kelpie will tell you what it is if you're impatient. Ooh, that's exciting. I'll have to let you guys also know if anything exciting happens this week for Chris. So I, I just really enjoy these, you guys. They put so much time and work into them and it is not wasted on me because I think they are just wonderful and I'm always obsessed with them. So <laughs> Enchanter is definitely a great favorite item out of this box. Okay, let's see what other paper items we have in here. As usual, we have a Magical Creatures A to Z page and I can already tell you that I'm obsessed with the animal on the front page. So it looks like we have the Kelpie, which I absolutely love the Kelpies. And oh, then we also have a Kraken on the other side, which is very exciting. So let's take a look and see what it says about the Kelpie and the Kraken. So for the Kelpie, it says the Kelpie is a shape-shifting spirit that is known to inhabit the lochs in Scotland. Kelpies may appear as tame horses beside a lake or river, and they are particularly attractive to young children. They seem friendly and inviting, but once a rider mounts the creature, they would be unable to dismount due to the Kelpie's sticky, magical hide. Kelpies then drag their trapped victims into the water and devour them. Oh no, that makes me sad. I really like the Kelpies. I'm just gonna pretend I don't know that. When I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy lately, I found a statue that said that the most famous Kelpie is the Loch Ness Monster, which is just one of my favorite things I've heard in a long time. But let's see what it says about the Kraken. So it says the Kraken is a legendary sea monster terrorizing the sea off the coast of Norway, Greenland, and Iceland. This beast is often described as a gigantic cephalopod-like creature resembling a giant squid or octopus with eight strong tentacles. When ships sail by, the Kraken emerges from the deepest depths of the ocean and drags the entire vessel underneath the waves. The Kraken would devour the entire ship along with the crew. Yeah, Krakens are mean too. Both of these are just sea monsters that are gonna get you. I'm gonna have to pretend I didn't hear that about the Kelpie though. But these are definitely really interesting pages and a great addition to our Magical Creatures A to Z book. So in true Hagrid fashion, it looks like we do have a recipe card. Oh, it's another recipe for raw cakes. I wonder if it's the same. I'll have to compare it to the one in the Enchanter. But it says raw cake serves 10, prep time's only 10 minutes, and cook time is 20 minutes. So I'll hold this up for you guys. But I am definitely very excited to try out some rock cakes. Me and Chris really enjoy making Harry Potter recipes. He is big during the holidays that he will make. Um, he makes pumpkin pasties and he makes... What is the lemon one that he makes that I cannot think of right now? Chris! What's the lemon tart that you make? He also makes a Trico tart, which is very good. But I'm definitely gonna make him make me some rock cakes at some point. And I would love to do some magical kitchen videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the back burner and hopefully when I get all caught up with my boxes, which I'm getting much closer to being caught up, maybe I can start doing some kitchen videos for you guys and we can try out some magical recipes. 
So now for our last paper item, it looks like we have a print of the inside of Hagrid's hut. And I do really, really like it. Just look at like the whole vibe of it. It's just, you know, with the fire going, it's so cozy. The windows open. You can see Buckbeak hanging out with the pumpkins outside. You've got candles lit. Oh, you can see the oven mitts do have the peppers on them. It has to be the pep the oven mitts that he had on in the movie. Oh, you can even see the little pumpkin tea on the bottom. And yeah, it's just fantastic. It's exactly what I would imagine Hagrid's hut to look like if I were to ever get the chance to go inside of it. I'm definitely gonna have to find a place for this. If I, I already have a Hagrid's shelf. I'm gonna have to look into maybe reorganizing a little bit because I think this definitely needs to be on that shelf. All right, that was all of our paper items. So let's take a look and see what else we have left in our box. There's something in here that's just wrapped up in bubble wrap and it's not in a box or anything. So let me take a look. I can see there's like a cork. It might be some kind of like potion ingredient. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, it looks like it's unicorn hairs, which is really exciting. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. So you can see we have unicorn hair which of course Hagrid would be the one to be able to humanely get the unicorn hair. I like the label on this one. It is a little different than we usually see. It's got like a blue tint to it. And it says unicorn hair collected after shed from an adult male unicorn. And look at the actual hair. They have put glitter in here. So the hair looks a little more magical, a little more shiny as you would read it from the books. And I think it's just, really nice it's just simple but really nice and you can see on the top of the bottle they have a silver wax seal which is honestly just perfect but it has a little unicorn on it and i absolutely love that i think that's just a cute little addition to the potion ingredient or just the little i don't know wand ingredient you could say but yeah i think they did a really good job on this one i definitely can see you know a little container of this being at Hagrid's hut. Of course, I love the shapes of all of the bottles that we get from the wizarding trunk. This is real glass and I, I don't know, it's just like the little round. It's just perfect. It's perfect to house your unicorn hair. I mean, yeah, I, I just love it. I think this one's really nice. It's definitely going to be going on my potion shelf which has a ton of potions on it right now. I like that this one's a little bit lighter. I'm really thinking I'm gonna have to look at my potion shelf so that it doesn't get so heavy it falls over, but I don't have to worry about this one. This one is definitely going to be added onto that shelf. Okay guys, so there are three items left in the box. There are two boxes that I'm gonna leave till last, but then we have one pin. Now this pin, I've taken it out of the plastic and it is on a Hogwarts castle backing which usually those are for like the portrait, the Hogwarts portrait pins. Now in my, in my little heart of hearts, I'm really, really hoping this is a Hagrid pin. We usually receive like professors on them. And I know that we never saw a portrait of Hagrid, but I'm thinking, I mean, what else could it be in a Keeper of Keys and Magical Beast box? So I'm really hoping we have a Hagrid portrait, but I'm going to give you guys the sneak peek at it. Oh, it is. It is Hagrid. Oh, and look at him. He's so perfect. I, I love the whole vibe of this. Not only did they just do him justice because he looks perfect, but I love like the color vibe of it. It's got like this burnt red with the green. It gives me very autumn vibes, which I definitely associate with Hagrid. Cause like on that print that we received, I think of the pumpkins around the hut and I don't know, it's just, it's very good. It's how I would imagine him to be looking in his portrait. But they did so good with like him holding onto his little belt and his crazy big hair and beard. Yeah, I absolutely love it. You guys know I love Hagrid and I could not be happier with this pin. I will say I'm also really obsessed with the frame on this one. So usually with the portrait pictures, we get these really beautiful ornate frames, which I love them as well. But I think this is much more fitting for Hagrid. It's not as ornate, it's not as big as a frame, and it has just like all these little leaves around it. I don't know, I just think it's perfect. I think they did a really, really good job on this. and. 
he is definitely going to have to go like front and center on my pin board. I'm going to have to find a way. I've been saying for a long time I want to get a separate pin board for the Hogwarts portrait pictures. I think that getting Hagrid might have just put that little fire under me to do that because he has to be displayed and I kind of want him to be like the center. I know it should be like Dumbledore, but everybody does it their own way and Hagrid's my favorite. So yeah, if you can't tell, I'm definitely obsessed with this Hagrid pin. Okay guys, so here are the last two boxes in our February special edition box. I'm really debating on which one to open. I think, I, I feel like they could each equally have replicas in them. This one, it's such a mystery that I'm gonna save it to last. I don't know if that's the right choice, but that's what we're doing. So we're gonna open this one, which tells us, it says it's Stormwood's Magical Creature Rescue. And you can see it has like a, I don't know if that's a unicorn. I don't, oh yeah, it's a unicorn. And I don't know what the other one is, but it has creatures on here and it's like a wooden box. So I don't, maybe we have like a creature replica in here, like a little statue. Let's take a look and see. We have styrofoam, which you guys know is my favorite thing to see in a wizarding trunk, a box. Let's take a look. In my head, I'm thinking maybe like a hippogriff statue. That's going to be my guess. Let's see. I think I was right. It looks like a hippogriff statue. So I am very, very happy with this guy. He looks wonderful. Like, look at this little hippogriff. Honestly, that is amazing. I am very, very impressed with this guy. The way that he's designed with the feathers on his little body, like it, they've made the texture of it look so nice and so real. His little face is painted so nicely. And I, I mean, I don't have a bad thing to say about this. You can tell it's made out of resin and they've hand painted it. I, I mean, it's, instantly going on my Hagrid shelf. I don't even need to do any reorganizing. I'm just gonna find a spot for it because it's that good. I'm super, super impressed with this. Like in my head, I was like, surely there'll be some kind of hippogriff item. I'm very happy that it's this because I, I mean, I think I have one little hippogriff statue, but there's just something about this one. There's something about the design of it. I think it's, it's absolutely wonderful. I have Tabby, Gryffindor bookworm, Last year for Christmas, she sent me this Thestral statue, and I feel like this would go so nicely with it. So if you can't tell, I'm in love with this Hippogriff statue, and yeah, th this right now is definitely a contender for my favorite item. We have our very last item out of our Hagrid box, and I'm very sad to see it end because you guys know I love Hagrid. Now, I can honestly say... I mean, I told you a few things that I would like to see in the box at the beginning, but since this is a mystery box, I have no idea what it could be. I'm hoping it's a replica. Let's see if we've got some styrofoam in here. Okay, we do have styrofoam, which is a really good sign. Styrofoam mystery box. Kind of nervous, like I've gotten my hopes up for certain things. Let's see what we actually have in here. It's not what I was expecting. Let me see if it's... So although there are a few things that I probably would have rather this have been, this is definitely not a bad item. And it makes so much sense to go with the very first thing that we opened, which was our oven mitts. So we have this perfect little dragon egg. <laughs> like in my head, when I'm thinking of the movie, this is exactly what I imagine. It had like this shine to it, this pretty coppery gold color. And I feel like I need to find a way to put the oven mitts like on my shelf with this sitting in it. I wish I had like a fake cauldron of fire. I don't know any idea how I would do that, but that's gonna be in my brain. I'm gonna have to figure it out. But it's just simple. It's literally just the egg. There's nothing special about it. It's just a pretty egg. It's, I mean, it's made nicely. The paint job is very nice. I don't see any, you know, like big issues with it. So, of course, it'll have to go on my Hagrid shelf as well because he always wanted a dragon. So, yeah, the Wizarding Trunk was very smart to send us our very own dragon egg. 
Okay guys, so now that we have opened all of the items out of the box, let's take a look at the cheat sheet, make sure we got everything, and make sure that I knew what everything was. I think I did, but you never know, I could miss something. <laughs> so this says, the Wizarding Trunk presents the Keeper of the Keys and Magical Beasts. Item number one was our creature page. This creature page was ripped right out of the Magical Creatures A to Z, and it was written by the Wizarding Trunk. Number two are the Dragon Egg Handling Oven Mitts. That's what I thought. These oven mitts are perfect for taking hot items out of your cauldron or the oven, but you should probably get it out before it hatches. Number three is the actual dragon's egg. Grab your oven mitts. It looks like your dragon egg is starting to hatch. What shall we call this baby dragon? I do enjoy that. Like I was just thinking it would have been nice for it to have like a crack in it. But when I see it in the oven mitts, I don't think of it with the crack. So I think I'm okay with them. Number four is the portrait pin. This portrait will be perfect for your collection. Exactly, it is the perfect portrait pin. Number five are the gate keys. This key topped with a winged boar will get you into the gates. The padlock for the gate has been shrunk to fit into your pocket. Should you need to lock the gate, simply enlarge the padlock. So that's the actual little keychain that was on it. I did notice that the keyhole was right in the middle of it. So that is so cute. Number six is the rock cakes recipe, the perfect rock cakes recipe to make for guests. Number seven is the hippogriff. This beautiful creature is very proud, but easily offended. Take care when approaching this beast. Number eight was the enchanter. It's that time again. This quarterly edition of the enchanter focuses on groundskeeping and forestry. Be sure to subscribe to our quarterly subscription to ensure you never miss an issue. So I wonder, I've never really paid attention to that, but I wonder if we only get Enchanter magazines in the quarterly boxes. I'm gonna have to go take a look at my previous videos and double check that. Number nine is the Groundskeeper Assistant Pin. If you don't have your Groundskeeper shirt handy, wear this pin when helping out our favorite Groundskeeper. Number 10 are the Giant Pumpkin Seeds. This tin of Giant Pumpkin Seeds would taste great if steeped, steeped is the word I was trying to think of, if steeped in hot water for three to five minutes. These giant pumpkin seeds will taste just like pumpkin spice tea. It's practically magic. Then for number 11, we have the key holder. This key holder is perfect for any half giant with a few dozen keys to look around. We have included several extra key loops for any of your past keys that may not have included them. Oh, that's such a good idea. I bet we have little key hooks on most of them, but they probably knew that they had sent some out without them. So they supply this extra key hooks. That is just, so like thoughtful, like things that could so easily get passed up and you wouldn't think about. So great job on sending us extra key rings. Number 12 is the unicorn hair. Unicorn hair has many uses. It is used in potion making as wand cores and by the gamekeeper to bind bandages. This unicorn hair was collected after it was shed by an adult male unicorn. Number 13 is the groundskeeper's cabin. A that's the print. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it says a look into the groundskeeper's cabin. And then I love that on the back of here, they have more of the little like articles or not articles. They have little advertisements. We have one for Bailiwick's Magical Sweets. Um, we have Pure Blood Apothecary. And then of course we have the Stormwood's Magical Creature Rescue, which is where our hippogriff statue came from. So these are super cute. You can see all those little advertisements. And then on the bottom, it says the next quarterly theme is our favorite, which is Anne Wizards. I have many favorites, so hopefully they will include them all in that next box. So now that we have went over our cheat sheet, it's time for me to go over my favorite and least favorite items. Um, for my least favorite item, I really enjoyed everything we got. I'm going to say my least favorite item is the giant pumpkin seeds tea. Now the reason that this is my least favorite item is because they didn't include anything for us to steep it with. I will have to actually go out and purchase something if I want to use this. I, I mean, I could do loose tea leaves, but I feel like I would rather have something to steep it in. So unless I want to get my tea leaves red for divination, that could be a cute little thing that I've never thought about. But anywho, I would have enjoyed for them to include something to steep this with, but it's not a bad item at all. I do love the little tin. It's a very cute, definitely probably gonna go on my Hagrid shelf. But yeah, that's the only reason that this would be my least favorite item. 
Now I do have a couple of favorite items out of this box. I think it's pretty obvious that this guy is, I don't, I don't know if he's my most favorite item, but he's definitely up there. I think they just did a great job on this little hippogriff statue and I can't wait to see him on my shelves. He's literally going to look perfect no matter where I put him. So he was definitely a favorite item. Now, anything with my actual Hagrid is also going to be a favorite item. I think they did a really, really great job on this picture. And yeah, I mean, you guys know I love him. So to have like a picture of him that I can put on a pin board, it just makes my whole day. So these two are my favorite items out of the whole box. But I do want to give an honorable mention for the oven mitts with the dragon egg like look at how perfect it looks right here it looks exactly like you see Hagrid in the movies and I do really really enjoy that like I could take little pictures and make it look like I was Hagrid pulling the dragon egg out of the fire so that's just a really cute original idea and I did really enjoy that they included that in this box so now that we went over my favorite and least favorite items it is time to go over this box as a whole I have to say I did really enjoy the box. I love Hagrid and I liked seeing all the little nods that were made to him, of course. Now, I did say I had high expectations for this box and, and that's kind of my own issue just because I love Hagrid so much. There were a few things that I would have liked to have seen and that was maybe a little bit more of Hagrid's cabin. Another thing that just popped into my head is if we would have received like a little replica of the rocks that Hermione throws into the windows of Hagrid's. That would have been a fun little replica to have. I, I did really enjoy it. I think they did a great job. I am just waiting for the day that someone sends me a miniature Monster Book of Monsters replica. I am needing it so much in my life. I saw that there's one that you can get at like Barnes and Noble maybe, but I mean, it's tiny. I want something the equivalent of this size as a monster book of monsters replica. So one day, one day I'm sure I'll get it. But until then, I think that they did a really good job on this box. I think they were very original in their ideas. And yeah, I mean, most everything's going to be added to my shelves or my pin board. So I can't really complain. I love Hagrid and I think the wizarding trunk definitely did him justice in this box. Now you guys, that is definitely my personal opinion. I would love to know what you guys thought about it. So make sure to leave a comment. Let me know your favorite and least favorite items. Let me know what you thought about the box and let me know what your guys' favorite character is. Because of course, for me, I've said it on multiple occasions, I love Hagrid, but let me know who you guys enjoy and maybe who you would like to see a whole box themed around. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.